What's going on guys? Welcome to Let There Be Math again and in today's video we're going to be talking about how to integrate functions of the type as shown here. So an exponential to the power of x times some constant a. Now in order to derive a general formula for this kind of integral we're going to do the same thing we have been doing so far and we're going to guess what the answer should be like based on the derivative of the same function. So if we start off with the derivative of the function e to the power of ax what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate that function by essentially just bringing the a to the front so we're going to differentiate the power of that function and then we're going to multiply it by the same function again okay so we know that for any exponential function to some function x we're going to differentiate the power and then that's going to come to the front and the rest of it is going to remain the same now the question is, how do we go back to this particular function if we started out with just e to the ax? And the answer should be quite obvious here. We're just going to have some factor of a that remains out of that integration. So what we're going to do is, we want to have this integral over here in this form a times e to the ax. So we're going to manipulate our expression in such a way that it ends up looking like that. So let's get rid of this over here. Now the next step is, we're going to write down the integral in the following form. So we're going to have a e to the ax dx. And then, since we have included this extra factor of a, we're going to place a 1 over a at the front of the integral. And now, we already know what the integral of this should be, because what differentiates into this function is just going to be e to the ax plus some constant c. And that's going to be our general formula for these types of integrals. So essentially, if you were to differentiate this, the a would come to the front and it would cancel out with that one to give us e to the ax, which is the answer we're seeking. Now, one thing I would like to emphasize is that this formula is only going to work for powers of x to the power of 1. And the reason is that this is not really the derivative of the power. This is simply the constant that is attached to it. And the argument is based on the fact that if we differentiate this function, the only thing that is going to change is we're going to multiply the function by some constant. So let's apply it to a couple of examples. Let's start off with e to the power 3x. Now here we have the constant is 3, so that means we're going to have 1 over 3 e to the 3x plus c. So very, very easy and straightforward integral. Now let's apply it to a more complex example. We have the integral of 2 times e to the minus 5x. So what is that going to become? Well, we already have the factor of 2. We're going to leave that intact. And now we're going to divide this by the constant in front of x, which is minus 5. And then we're going to leave the expression just like it started. So that's just going to be e to the minus 5x plus c. And then we have this extra factor. Now what about a function like this one? So we have the square root of 3 times e to the minus 4x. Well the first thing we should do is we're going to simplify that by essentially just having the square root of 3 and then we have e to the minus 4x and here the square root is just going to become a power of half as we know that's one of the properties of these functions. And then the next thing is well we're going to have that so a power raised to a power is just going to be the product of the two so half times four becomes minus two so let's rewrite this integral as root three e to the minus two x dx and then the last thing we want is well we now can integrate this in the regular manner that we have been doing so far we have root three divided by minus two and then times e to the minus two x plus the constant c and that's going to be our integral now what happens if you have a power in which you have an extra constant added to it well we're going to use the simple property of exponential functions that says that we can split this into a product of two exponentials we have e to the power of 7x multiplied by e to the power of 2 times dx and now we notice that e to the power of 2 is just a constant, so we can bring it to the front of the integral. So we can write it as e to the power of 2, and then we have e to the power of 7x dx. 
and now the next thing is we're just going to apply the regular formula to this one so that becomes e to the power of 2 this becomes over 7 e to the power of 7x plus the constant c and now to simplify matters even further we're just going to add those two together so we have e to the 7x plus 2 divided by 7 and then plus the constant c and that's essentially how you integrate exponential functions in which the power is a linear function of x and in the next video we're going to look at a more general example which is going to involve integrals where the base is any number a we choose instead of e so that's going to get a little bit more interesting because it's going to require us to use a little bit more intuition in terms of how to derive that result so if you guys would like to see more content from let there be math make sure you hit the subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next video